Okay, guys, we got a special video today. We have an old patient that came back to us. Over two years ago, I did his full treatment from beginning to end. Examination, x-ray video, went through the whole process over a two-week program. This is Jesus. He was a work comp injury for five years, lost the best time of his life. His buddy had surgery. He said, hell no surgery for me. I'm going to watch this chiropractor on YouTube get me better in person. So he came in, did his thing. He's back. You're going to ask, why is he back? He's back because he was only 60% better back then and he wants more. He still feels pretty darn good from all that time with me, but he wants more. So we're going to do a two-part series on him. I hope you guys enjoy this. Check his story out. Took new x-rays. Check those out. We adjusted him like we did before. Yeah, here we go. Wow, you got it on time. But Jesus, a couple years later, he was in my work comp case, four part video, uh, check those out. My name is Jesus, um, I'm 32, unemployed. Last time I came, I left up 60%. The reason why I'm back is that I like your work. Your work your work didn't wear off. Why are you back then? I'm just gonna get better, see if you could bump it up more to a higher percentage. Right now, in my uh, lower back, it's probably like a six. What are the activities that hurt you the most? Sitting down. My issue is bending over. Yeah, carrying objects or stuff. Well, it has to be like probably like 40, 45 pounds. And then you start what? Yeah. Uh, pain uh, starts pain. increasing. Yeah. Gotcha. How about the ring of the ears? Every day before, how's the ringing now? Oh, it's gone. How about the dizziness you had all the time before? How much dizziness do you have now? Uh, this is not a knot. Insomnia before, what about now? Not that much. The I sleep was worse. Tell us about the panic attacks and depression. Uh, they're gone. Since I met you, they're gone. Like my, all my worries. That I had towards my pain, my pain on my back, it's gone. And the depression, feeling like you can't get anywhere? Ah, oh, it's gone. How much pain in your back there, sir? On a scale of one to ten? It's probably like a six. How about that? Four. How about that? Um, probably like a one or two. How no about pain. that? and see how far you can go down. Any pain in your back, your knees? It's more like a stretch pain, uh, like a three. We have a 16 millimeter left imbalance, occiput tilt and scoliosis. Here we have four millimeter right short leg and nine degree curve. Here we have bone growth, huge on the back of his head, lots of neck arthritis, and we have low back arthritis to boot. Okay, relax right here, good. God. Wow. That was a pretty big one. I think switches. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. <laughs> He's a little nervous this time. Drop your head, please. There we go. Wow, you got it on time. I know he's done this before, but we're always reminding our patients not to twist and turn or they will undo my work. You can see he's a little off balance. Let's check in and see how Jesus is doing. I feel like, like numb. I don't feel like numb, but I feel like something going down, mm -hmm. like my neck. Like that something changed. Yeah. I'm not dizzy. Good. You were bad before. Yeah. Time to get up, boy. Recalibrate that spine. Let's walk to the door. He's actually doing pretty darn good here. Remember some of his old swag? I like what I see. I still feel that like something like moving behind my neck. Okay, cool. And like I'm starting to get dizzy, but not as, as long. Like it like comes in waves. Gotcha. And what about when the walk down the hall was it? Did you feel skinnier like your brother said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a six a minute ago, still six, or it's changed? No pain. <laughs> well, this is good, man. Huh? I like a two. I like a two. One and a half. <laughs> uh, probably like a one. No pain. Right there. Probably, probably like not even close to a one. Anything else you want to answer? No, I just feel good right now. Good. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. See you guys. Day four for Jesus. He is uh, doing better. He's missing the secret sauce, the secret <laughs> aha moment. And so he likes this because oh, I'm really getting here and pushing. Oh, oh, fuck. That right shoulder, man. What I teach him will bring the pain down if he does it, but he doesn't do it. We also chin down, chin down. Okay. There you go, like that. There you go. Beautiful. We also uh, realized that on his x-rays that his occiput is an issue. So next week we work on him, we're going to skip the atlas at first. <coughs> and we're going to go right to the, out, the occiput. Oh, fuck. Ridiculous. Uh -huh. There we go. How are you doing this week? Uh, much better. 
What do you think about this week versus two years ago? I'm just kind of curious if, they, if you can see the juxtaposition of it. Well, I feel better than two years ago. I you left, do? I left at 60%. Yeah. Now I feel more better. You didn't I, take thought, I thought more concentrated this this time around. Gotcha. So you're paying attention more. Yeah. So uh, how much better are you at this time? You were 60% when you came in from last to two years ago. What do you think you are right now? Probably like 85. How do you think your dad's changing? You think your dad would change this much? You think he'd get this much out of it? I'm kind of curious what your your thought process on this. Oh, he looks better. I thought he's gonna, he's gonna come for two weeks. He's gonna only come for one week. Now he decided to come two weeks. He so did. Why? Yeah. Why? What, cha what changed his mind? Uh, his uh, improvement. His improvement. Yeah. Radical improvement, right? Yeah. What you yeah. get to him. So we've been uh, adjusting him pretty hard from the get go. Like I said, I can't wait for his occiput adjustment. So you can see I take a lot of attention on him. He is a big head, <laughs> heavy head, hard to get in here. And, uh, no, I feel good. He's having some pain in his shoulder blade on the right. Shoulder up here, right? Oh, fuck right yeah. there. Right there. <laughs> and he thinks it's because I just pushed on it. And it's part of the reason. But, <laughs> but we had a lot of success by bringing that pressure down by working on his SCM on the right. I'm going to let you see this. It's pretty painful. We get right here under the, the mastoid process. Actually, I go a little anterior to the lateral mass of the atlas, and this is actually better than before, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's painful on him, but he was woo, sensitive before. I'm gonna work my way down the SCM this time because he couldn't take it last time, and this is all gonna hurt. But this is way better than it would have been last time. Yeah, one more time here. One more here. <laughs> Go down and tell him how much the shoulder feels better. You gotta put your face in the camera though. How much the shoulder feel better? Was it? It's like a two, 